Hello everyone. How are you people of God? It is Lakedra again and I wanted to just come on and bring another quick word of encouragement to those that are standing in the gap holding on to the promises of God concerning your family, concerning that marriage, believing for restoration, believing for loved ones to come out of bondage and you're believing God for the manifestation of the promises. You that are in covenant with him and for many that don't know him and you that have not allowed the Lord to become your Lord and Savior. Asking God to come into your life, being your Lord and Savior is the greatest thing you can ever, you can ever choose to do in your life. Getting to know God, precious standards, is what will bring peace in times of trouble. Getting to know God, building that relationship with Him, seeing His love for you, getting to know Him, having that fellowship with Him each and every day. When trouble comes your way, you can always put your trust in Him. You can always put your trust in someone you know has your back. And someone that you know, as Romans chapter 10 tells us, how can we trust in someone we don't know or haven't heard of? Faith comes by hearing about someone, getting to know them, hearing about them constantly, finding out who they are. Then you can put your trust in them, even when all hell is breaking loose in your life. I tell you, there is nothing greater than having your trust and having that real trust in God. Then this will solve all doubt and unbelief problems and this will answer all questions you know you can always reflect back on who your god is while you're waiting while you are not seeing things or there isn't a light at the end of the tunnel but when you know god when there has been a relationship when there is a track record of your God and how he has come through for you when you know him when you know his heart and his mind I tell you it is the most greatest peaceful feeling it brings when you know God you can wait patiently on him you you, you know I know people of God that when you're not seeing things happen and when you are not seeing things turn around it could be a struggle you know, when you don't quite know God, you you know, you've been on this journey, but this has been a new experience for you. Yes, there can be fear, it, it, especially when there is a divorce or when you are being threatened or when you are hearing the voices or, or when things is just breaking loose in your life and you're wondering where is God and will God hurry? You know, this is exactly what the psalmist even went through. You know, you will hear them crying out, praying, saying, Lord, hurry. When are you going to help me? When are you going to come through for me, Lord? I need you now. Where are you? They even worried as they were going through problems. But as you get to know God and as that fellowship with him begin to deepen and you just allow his word to minister to you because it it gives you the revelation of who God is that's what the Bible reveals it reveals God Jesus told that to the Pharisees he says you know you read the word you seek the word and the scriptures so that you can receive eternal life he said but the scriptures are about me the scriptures reveals me and so if we want to know God it's time to come away from all the troubles just come away from them and get to know God seek my face he says seek the kingdom and his righteousness seek him first in all things and you'll see, people of God, that all things will be added, the Bible tells us. If God cares so much about the birds and the, and the flowers of the fields, 
that are here today and gone tomorrow. He certainly cares for you. He has it all under control. The moment you get to know God, you can rest in that assurance that he has you. That's really what his word really shows us, that he has us. Our creator has us and how he takes care of us and how he's our refuge. That's really what the Bible reveals and how he came to save us and help us and how he loves us. That's all the, the Bible really reveals. And give him our life and let him help us. Let him be our defender in times of trouble. He's he's everything to us. He loves us. Even the very hairs on our head. He says he, he knows the number. He has us written in the palms of his hand. Our names. Our tears he collect in a bottle. He collects them in a bottle. So he cares about your future. Is when we don't believe him. You know the Bible tells us. Let every man be a liar. But God be true. He is truth. There is no lying in God. But again it's going to take. Hearing his word. Seeing how he can come through for you. Finding it in his word. Seeing how he's able to turn around your situation. And I'm telling you. The word reveals it all. God is able to do exceeding and abundantly above all we can ever ask or think. According to the power that's at work in us. According to that surrendering unto him. According to our faith in him. According to the knowledge of truth we have in him. The more we know, the more it deepens our faith in God. And so I know, people of God, you know, I know about that that troubling that goes on in our minds this is why if you don't do nothing else read his word hear his word all the time if it means you got to hear it 24 7 hear that word i'm telling you that word will produce power and faith it will help you and sustain you and it will cause you to be rooted and grounded being still it will cause you to be anchored. Anchored in the midst of the storms. Joy. Peace. My God, the word gives power and faith to believe. To believe even when you don't see. My God, I'm telling you. And so this is what you want to work on, people of God. Get to know him. Spend your time drawing close to him. And don't waste so much time worrying about your spouse or focusing on the problems. That's a waste of time. Jesus tells us, why worry about tomorrow? It's not going to add not one thing to our life worrying. He says, let tomorrow take care of itself. Just seek first the kingdom. Seek getting into that secret place. Seek his face. And, and he says... And my righteousness, meaning seek how to please God. Let that be your focus, pleasing God. Getting to know Him. Learning how to obey Him. Find out what moves and touches heart. Want to please Him and all things will be added. That's the key. He'll take care of the rest. He will take care of the rest. You know, this is why troubles come. To draw us to God. So that we can find Him. And his love for us. Because he, he so desires to help us. And, and he, he so desires to reveal to us. That all things are taken care of. And that he loves us. That's his desire. To show us and reveal his love. And the things he has for us. And so we, we don't need to be wasting our time looking, wait, wasting our time looking at the storm. When the storm is going on, we don't go out in the storm. We, we find shelter. Shelter and safety. That storm that you are going through right now, find shelter in Him. Just by doing this, He says, all things will be added. It doesn't matter what you're facing. Nothing is impossible with God. All things are possible to them that believe. So you want to work on building your faith. 
This is where the struggle is. And there is no peace. But when there is faith, there will be peace and joy. And if God didn't spare his only begotten son for us, my God, the Bible tells us, won't he give you everything else you're needing? And whatsoever you are asking and needing from him, he'll give you. That's coming. But there is a time of waiting. There is a time of waiting. There is also a time of harvest and breakthrough. My God, the sooner, the sooner we can trust him with all our hearts. Get ready, people of God. I'm telling you, as the scriptures say, a man shall leave father and mother and be joined to his wife. And the two shall be united into one flesh. This is God's promise. And so we come to you, Father God, thanking you for your promise. Lord, joining, joining spouses, making them one, Lord God. Bringing in wayward spouses, Lord God. Bringing deliverance. Setting the captives free. Many that are away, Lord God, right now. Out in the world. Living a life of sin. Lord God, have broken their vows. Bound with sexual immorality and addictions and whatever else. Oh God, we bring them before you right now. Lord God, yes. We, Lord God, are looking to you. We are looking to you, Lord God, in your word. And we are trusting. You, Lord God, to bring forth your promises in the earth. Thank you, Lord, for setting the captives free. We bind the works of the devil and we declare and decree that there is liberty and life, Lord God, in our spouses to be free. Marriages healed and restored in the name of Jesus and illustrating yours, your marriage, Lord God. In Jesus' name, will stony, stubborn hearts be removed now. The mountains that has come in to hinder your will for our life. We command these mountains right now to go throw themselves in the sea. We rebuke the spirit of darkness and the generation of curses. Of divorce and separation and enmity in the homes. And we declare that they be yoked. Husbands and wives be equally yoked in Jesus' name. Believers in the kingdom of God. Partners in the faith. Lord, we thank you for restoration and healing through your holy blood. Thank you, Lord. We declare these things over our lives. Praise your name. Lord, begin to do a mighty work quickly. Do a mighty work quickly, Lord God. Miracles, oh God, greater than there ever was. In Jesus' name, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We praise you. We thank you, Lord God, for miracles. Miracles, oh God. Praise your holy name. Thank you for healing marriages. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing peace in our homes. Restoration and reconciliation through the blood of Jesus, Father. Lord, yes, pour out your spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray and ask it all. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank him each and every day. Meditate on his promises. Focus on Christ. This is what will bring forth peace and faith. Remember God loves you. And I love you too. And until next time. Remember you are blessed. Bye bye.